we may save our uh, account number we may save the password of that particular internet banking account all these things will be saved in our computer maybe we type in uh, type it in a word file or we may save it in some other software there are many softwares where that make uh, that reminds us about our important things so uh, what sleeper does is uh, it just collects all your financial information it may be programmed that it will understand the account number only there are lots of files you will save in your computer but it finds out only the uh, bank account number or the or the data which is related to your financial information okay so sleeper does this work and uh, alabama alabama virus that looks uh, differently right <laughs> it looks like somebody's name <laughs> okay so alabama is again a type of uh, this one executable file virus uh, this uh, that attacks on dot exe files okay alabama files that infects executable dot exe files okay that will be saved in every um, every software's folder you can see in your c drive in inside the program files you can see which all softwares that has been installed in our computers so it goes and affects the exe file saved in those uh, folders and that uh, the effect is nothing but uh, it stops the, that software will start working in in different way and it may stop working it may it may not do the tasks whatever it was doing before all these things happens uh, when it when the dot exe file is been attacked next is logic bomb this is something different kind of uh, intelligent virus all the viruses are intelligent but uh, logic bomb is like mm, it checks for the system date uh, it checks for some uh, informations from the computer uh, like the uh, the person who are the pro virus author uh, who creates the logic bomb virus he may say that uh, you have to work only on fridays okay so he will design like that and he will send through internet that you will get it in your laptop computer laptop or computer uh, how it works is all the days it will be in a sleepy mode it will not work okay it will be not active it will be inactive once friday comes how it how it will come to know that it is friday it will just check the system time and date here you can see your system time and date right every computer will have its own time and date right so this logic bomb virus will check these settings in your computer once it comes to know that it is friday it will be active on friday it will start doing its work what will be the work just anything like uh, it will take uh, it will uh, take the data of your computer or your it will do some some whatever that he has planned on the virus the developer uh, whatever he has planned on the virus what work he has developed in his program that work he will do that work the virus will do on on friday this friday is just an example okay this i am taking i am taking the example of friday because in the first paragraph here they have given one example okay uh, i'll show you uh, yeah. viruses attach themselves to program files and move with them from disk to disk disk to disk is nothing but your hard uh, hard disk okay hard disk will contain many disks inside that some viruses attach themselves to a file and lie dormant dormant means without leaving it will uh, like a sleepy mode it will be there inside okay but when a certain date or event occurs they get triggered and becomes active one such notorious virus is called friday the 13th virus this is the name of virus friday the 13th virus it is also called as jerusalem virus because it was first discovered at the university of jerusalem in 1987 in this year uh, this virus was found in their computers 
it gets activated every friday that occurs on the 13th of a month if a month has 13th date okay and it should be a friday only that day this jerusalem virus will activate itself and it will start its work okay so this is just one of the example for logic bomb okay that jerusalem virus is a type of logic bomb next is a christmas virus again it is also the same uh, it is like uh, they will uh, in it it comes to your email it comes to your email uh, as a merry christmas wishes like a postcard merry uh, it it will be written on it like merry christmas happy holidays it will be like a postcard once you click on that it will have a beautiful graphical backgrounds also that you will tempt to click on it so once you click on it the christmas virus enters to your computer okay so how to, how to avoid these things is as i told you these things comes to, uh, this christmas virus comes to your mail okay you see who has sent it if your friend has sent it then uh, no no doubt you can open it if you trust him if you trust your friend that you can trust that he will not send you any viruses or he will not think to harm you in any kind so you can open his mail once you don't know the sender if you don't know the sender's name and then don't open it at all that's it it may contain any kind of virus not only the christmas virus now it can be any kind of virus so if the if you don't know the sender of email don't open it just select it and delete it okay next is ad where ad is nothing but advertisement so uh, when you are browsing something in internet you can see at the right side and left side uh, the entire surrounding will be covered with many kinds of advertisements that will be flickering around that will tend make you to touch on it make you to click on it so it can be a cloth shopping uh, website advertisement it can be a jewelry it can be a um, food ordering uh, Uh, website any kind of websites uh, or uh, movies all these kinds of advertisements it will be uh, displaying uh, around you on the computer when you browse internet so do if you want to purchase a dress online for example mintra amazon flipkart any of the websites directly go to open the browser type www.flipkart.com www.amazon.com why to click on those links unwanted unnecessarily see okay sometimes it may be a genuine advertisement sometimes it may be a fake virus advertisement so why to take risk we can't understand we can't recognize what kind of virus it is so better if you want to go for some particular shopping uh, websites go directly to the uh, browser and type its proper address and go to that website don't go for advertisements that will be displayed around your page when you are browsing something got it that is adware when you click on a it will be in the form of advertisement Uh, it will be in the form of advertisement once you click on that uh, uh, the virus directly enters to your computer even it installs itself okay even it, uh, it that doesn't need you have to install it it installs by itself okay that is adware so better don't click on the things which is showed around on your uh, page web page when you are browsing internet last one is last example is spyware spyware is once it enters to your computer uh it it start communicates or sends the information to some other person okay when we are online with our email id for example i have open my gmail id so once i have a spyware it starts sending my details through my mail itself okay through my it can be in your computer or mobile okay gets all the informations get whatever like uh, when i'm 